Okay, we're gonna show you today how to start a job and how to start spraying with a Raven Viper 4. So first thing you're gonna do is start your job. So we're gonna go to the bottom left-hand corner, picture of the map here. You have all your previous jobs listed right here, but if you wanna start a new job, you would hit start job here at the top. It's gonna give you a warning here saying forward direction can't be found, which is fine. So what we're gonna do is take it out of park. So our park switch is on right here. Park brake is up here. So now we're out of park. You're gonna put your finger on the pinky right here. Push forward, give it a little tap. Now it's in drive. We're gonna drive forward until that warning goes away. Good. Warning is gone. If you wanted to, you could enter a grower, farm, and field name here at the top by just hitting the edit button. And then we don't have any grower, farms, or fields, so we'll make one here quick. We'll hit plus. So I'm the grower. We'll make a farm. These are all saved in here after, so you don't have to do it every time. You don't necessarily even have to have a grower farm and field, but if you want to save your data, you have to. Good. So now I have my grower farm and field name saved in there. They're all listed there at the top. It's going to make your job name as the time and date of today. Hit the play button. Good. This warning is going to come up no matter what. Every time you go start a job so you just have to hit check mark on that next step we're going to do is go into our iso bus here so we have our screen with this layout if your layout looks different you can edit the layout how it all looks with this button right here so it would be in there if you want to change it then you would hit the edit button and go change the layout that's personal preference however you want to set it up so to unfold our booms i'm going to back up a little bit so i don't hit my car should miss it there, I hope. So to unfold the booms, you're gonna hit this button right here, and then you can pick whether you want 133 feet or 100 feet, but we're just gonna hold down the boom out button. If you wanna show the booms unfolding now, they're gonna start moving. Hopefully not smash that car. So you gotta keep your finger on the button the whole time. If you take your finger off the button, it will stop unfolding. It's pretty close to the car, but I think we missed her. So keep holding down until you get this warning that the booms are unfolded all the way. So now your boom is unfolded all the way. If it doesn't say unfolded, just tap it one more time until it's green here. We'll hit the back arrow. I'm going to back up just a little bit more so we can uh, clear the car. Good there. So to bring our booms down from the up position, so they're still up in the air right now. I'm just going to turn my auto on. The booms are going to drop down our headland position. So right now we have the headland position set at 18 inches because it says 10 and then it says eight. So what happens is the boom's at 18 inches because we're you know, not spraying right now. As soon as the nozzles start spraying, it'll drop down to a 10 inch boom height. So next thing we're gonna do is start the pump. Hit this button right here. Our pump is gonna start now. The reason why we know the pump is running, it's gonna give us this warning at the bottom. We have that little green square right there and it says we have 30 PSI. We can also see it right here that we are recirculating in our booms at you know 44 gallons a minute. If you want to change your pressure, you can do it up here. You can change your rate and your pressure. So say we'll spray at 50 PSI instead of 30. Now we're going to recirculate at more gallons per minute. We get bumped up to 55, 56. Next thing you have to do is give yourself a speed so right now we're sitting still in the yard so we're gonna put a self test speed into the machine so we'll hit this button right here then we'll hit simulate and now it will go I'll think it's going eight mile an hour 
The next step will be to turn your master switch on. Two ways of doing that, you can either hit this button right here or this one here on the screen. I usually hit this one right here. As soon as I hit that button, now we have a 10 inch boom height, so it dropped down a little bit. And we're spraying at 10 gallons per acre, eight mile an hour, 50 PSI. And it's running at about 40 duty cycle with both of our tips. So it's running at uh, 10 inch nozzle spacing. So other things you can see on the screen here now, we also have another boom pressure right here. We have an acre counter. We have how many gallons you've sprayed out. Uh, what our tank level is right now, there's our tank level, it's digital sensor. Um, then we have our actual rate and our target rate. And then if you want, you would have all your GPS. So to make a GPS line, you would hit this button right here and hit the straight one, hit this straight one again, and then you'll bring up a compass. In this compass, you can pick which direction you wanna go. So, so right now we're facing 85 degrees, so almost west. If I wanna go straight west, I would hit this guy right here, and it's just gonna cycle through all my straight numbers. So now it's going 90 degrees straight, and I hit the middle one. It beeps at us because it's given us a warning that you have to use auto steer now. So you're gonna hit the green warning to clear that. And now we have our auto steer ready to engage on the line. You can either hit this button right here on the screen, or where I program it into all these sprayers is this button right here to engage your auto steer. Now your auto steer is engaged because it's green. So you can sit still with the auto steer engaged for up to 30 seconds. If you want to disengage it, just move your steering wheel and your auto steer is disengaged. Um, one other thing to look at is your section controls. Right now we have section control turned off. If you want to turn it back on, hold down this button here. And then I just hit AccuBoom enabled. And now I stop spraying, right? Because now our section control is enabled. So you have to start driving again to disable that.